I got these planks about 10 years ago. Um, there's some old growth redwood planks that were originally installed at the Cal Poly San Luis Obispo University Union and they were planter boxes and they were used for about 50 years there until they were taken out in about 2012 and I was like man this wood is too good to get thrown in the trash so I stored them and I've been waiting for a project to use them for I don't use redwood too often because it's a little soft but it's great wood for making a door out of so I'm gonna make this awesome door let's get started old wood right here which is from an old fence that was taken apart in my neighborhood and I went and saved this redwood there's probably some gold hitting in here man it's gonna be good stuff This next part I'm mixing up a little bit of resin and pigment which is blue and pearl mixed together to fill in all the voids that were from either cracking, checking, screw holes, nails. It's quite the extensive process and it probably took about three or four days to do completely about half an hour a day. Here I'm cutting some tongue and groove joints into the frame of the door using a pretty wacky blade that goes on the table saw and it wobbles side to side and makes one pass clean cuts. For a little bit of joint connection strength, I decided to do butterflies the old school way. I ended up cutting these butterflies out on the band saw and then marking them in with a pencil. I then ended up routing out the sections where the butterflies would go and then cleaning it up by a chisel with hand. This is a much different method than a lot of modern sections where people end up either cutting it all with a laser or with a CNC router. This kind of gives it a little bit more of a handmade touch and not so clean and perfect.
All right, here I'm putting on a clear shellac. You just wipe it on everywhere, but it does leave a little bit of a dimensional raise to it. So after it cures, you have to give it a real light sanding, and then I'm putting a coat of mineral oil on top of that. Alright, I hope you liked it and check out my other videos for other custom made projects.